Hey, Thomas Barkey here with Trackify and another helpful training video. This time uh, we're going to talk about uh, Facebook pixel events, the raw events, and how to check if your events are all getting into Facebook and if they line up with your, with your Shopify transactions. Here's the problem. When you're just looking in the ads reports in Facebook, a lot of times you have events that are missing. But really they're not missing because the ads reports in Facebook are designed to only report on sales that can be directly attributed to paid traffic, to paid impressions of your ad posts. Your ad posts can also get organic uh, impressions and if someone clicks on those and makes a sale on that, um, on that visit, uh, they will not show up. That transaction is not supposed to be reported in Ads Manager reports. And so that's how come that there are often uh, transactions missing. So typically, depending on how you set up your ads and depending on how much organic traffic you're getting, uh, that reporting discrepancy can be anywhere between 80%. It can be even lower, right? So, so that 80% of your transactions in Shopify show up in Ads Manager reports. So if you want to really check if pixel, if Facebook is receiving all of your pixels, you need to do that in the raw events, which you can check in the pixel dashboard. Pixel dashboard, you get to this through the mega menu here from your ads manager. And if it's not already here in the frequently used tab, you come over here and click this. So this here pixels that gets you to this window. And you may or may not have multiple pixels here accessible. Uh, if you have one, it may just open directly into this one. If you have multiple, it gives you this selection here. Then you click into the one you want to check out. And now this here is a chart about the pixel event activity. And these are raw events. So that means they're all events, not just the ones that are filtered by paid or organic or attribution to a specific ad. All right. So I would first go in here and just kind of reduce this to um, a more reasonable time frame. So let's say we want to examine seven day time frames. You can, for this chart here, you can select the events that you want to show there. So let's say, sorry, this here is the right one. So purchase, um, add to cart, and view content. Let's just say we want to look at those. So view content is the big one here, and then you see the other two lines are kind of low by, by, by comparison, and you can see what's going on. So now this breakdown here seems like, uh, depending on you know what the time setting is here, this breakdown is uh, multiple multiple um, tabs for each day. It looks like right. So this is kind of like you can see there's uh, the transition, the times, the dates are on there, the time zones. The time zone is indicated and you can hover over exactly what events are going on there. So if you want to get a good match and see if it's if you have a good match, you can scroll down here and look at the purchase event. And this one here has 3,700 uh, transactions in the time frame of the last seven days. The last seven days goes through, yes, through today, actually. This is uh, February 6th. So it's important to capture and, and figure out you know, where it starts and where it ends. So this one starts on January 31st, goes through February 6th in this particular case. And then you would just go into Shopify and look at your transactions in the online store only. Okay, you can't, uh, like if you go to Shopify, you have sometimes uh, different, different places here, different channels, right? So online store, messenger, other, so if you're getting uh, sales from other places, you want you want to only look at online store because these are the only transactions where your Facebook pixel events are actually sending that over to Facebook. Okay, so now you just look at this and you look at you know so you select the dates, the same date range that you have over there, and now this is obviously a different store, so there isn't much going on in this one, and you would just go and look at the um, at the order count here and compare that with the number that you're getting from right here in the purchase uh, in the purchase line right here, 3,700. And if that's a pretty close match, then you're good. Then that means that all of your raw pixel events are getting sent to Facebook. Now, if there's a large discrepancy between this number and how many purchases you see in your ads manager reports, that is due to attribution. That's because Facebook cannot match those events specifically to specific ads. But that has nothing to do with the events. It has something to do with where the traffic is coming from, 
how you're setting up your ads, how much organic traffic you're getting, and so forth. So the matching happens by just matching the event count with um, with the people on Facebook that clicked on your on your paid ads, right? So now you can also drill down a little bit deeper. This is something you might want to do if you find that you actually have too many events. So in that case, you might want to try and hunt down if you have any duplicates or what else is going on. And you can do that by clicking into the activity uh, tab here and then scroll down and select your purchase event. Now here you have a list of the last whatever, however many purchase events. This only goes so far back usually. Um, so it depends on whether you're not, you're, whether you're looking at old data or if you have currently still a problem where you incur duplicate events. So the way to find duplicate events here is by simply looking down the list here and finding times that are exact matches, right? If you have a duplicate event, that's because someone, someone uh, well, it's because an event fired twice at the same time when someone visited your page. And that can happen when you haven't removed pix other pixel event code from outside of Trackify or when you have other things going on. Um, so if you, so you would be looking for, for the same exact time here and then also it has to match up the same device, right? Because if you have a very busy store, it can happen that you have uh, two transactions in the same minute and then you can't distinguish them by the time and they might be on different devices. So even that is not 100% um, uh, safe to um, to identify, but if you if you go down, you see a pattern. You have maybe all each every event doubled up. Then that's a pretty good sign that something is going on, and uh, so that might help you out. Then and you can also hover over these parameters here and actually get every uh, every detail of every uh, transaction exactly. Uh, inspect it here and uh, you know troubleshoot it a little bit further down. So I hope this helps. This is uh, a detailed uh, guide to the new layout in the Pixel dashboard on Facebook. So if you have any further questions uh, about that, uh, just uh, contact us to the in-app chat or contact us to the Facebook Pixel group, to the Trackify users group. Okay, so if it's a question that's of common interest, please ask it in the group. Then everybody has something from the answer. And if it's an individual question, just uh, contact us through the in-app chat and we'll help you out there. Thanks a lot. This is Thomas Bartka signing off for Trackify. Until next time.